I've had these orbs appear last four to five weeks above me on the beach. Now, I didn't go to the beach this weekend. It's 13th of April, Monday. Quarter past two, I walked outside and saw this. Now, I've never seen anything like this before. Someone said they're just balloons tied up with strings that look like tethers. Now, I caught the tethers in a few photographs. Now, these are normally filmed... Um, I've seen these filmed by Robert Bingham in California. And this was fairly low. I was very fortunate to run upstairs quickly, grab the camera. Now, there's heaps of these shapes in here. I just... It just looks like a piece of artwork. I did, I, I'll just switch it off now. Now, I was fortunate to take a few photographs. Um, I just enlarge them. I haven't ever seen these things, but I've always seen them filmed by the Orb people in America. And um, as I said, I've had four or five weeks of orbs appearing on the beach. The ones I've, I've seen on the beach ha had the three shape. They had the tether, balloons like balloons, with thick white tails coming off it. Well, there it is there. Look at it. It's just like... And that one looks like it's got a shape sort of on there as well, face. Now, I'll go to the next picture. There it is there. I was very fortunate. I ran upstairs, got the camera. And it just looks spectacular. And this time, because it was low down, I could get it in autofocus on the film mode, the movie mode. So I was fortunate. Look at it. It's beautiful. Who would produce things like that and just throw them up in the sky? I don't know. It looks like something that should be... Now, change of shape. It should be somewhere actually in the art studio rather than the sky. Here are the shapes. That's the next one. So it's cloudy. I've always seen these dark coloured things normally under clouds. It's very rare that I catch them um, on very bright sunny days. They're usually the white orbs. So there's the shape there. It looks very very art sculpture like there it is that's important that shape there that's very important because it shows you some sort of squarish type of structure to it on this one you don't see the white tethers on the other ones you will let's go to the next one here is again that's where i start to see the white tether come off there it is there um that's where i see the white tether and this looks mechanical that process sticking out there Right there. Now I see the white tether. There, there, and that white tether coming off it. There's that white tether. There. There it is there, coming off. There's the next picture. So I took a rapid picture uh, sequence on the camera, and I see the white tethers coming off. I don't know what they actually represent, but I've seen them in quite a few of these orbs now. They weren't there in the first picture, the first two pictures. That's why it's unusual. Now we've got, it just goes away. So that's one more picture there. And I didn't see the white tether there at all. We've seen this one. So let's play now the video. There's one other video, which is a nice long sequence. That's the one right here. This one I might try to pause. It just looks like helium balloons tied together. It looks exactly like that. 
Let's go again now. This is where I pause it now. I start to see anything interesting. There it is there. I'm starting to see the tethers come off there, but they look more like strings on this one. Each spins around individually. Wow. You see a, a lot of st structure in that one there. You see the white tethers coming off. There's a, a lot of shapes coming in this one. There it becomes thicker, that white tether. It's a very good one. To me, it just looks like helium balloons tie together, join together, and each spinning individually. But I can't explain how in a few pictures you see the very bright, the thick white strands coming off it, and then in other pictures you don't see it. That's the confusing part. a good one right there it's got a curved area there Fascinating. Exactly like three healing balloons tied together. Now, if I pause this and go to the original pictures, the first two pictures, you just didn't see that bright white thing coming off it. So when I enlarge that again now, you see now the, the actual, there's no white objects coming off it there. We go to the next picture, which is obviously the same one, just in a rapid sequence. Now, when it's under a cloud, we start to see something coming out of that area. It looks mechanical. It's actually white with right angles on it. There it is. There. So that's is the start of what we you'll see now a a, white, a silver sort of strand or tether coming off it right there. Now, the strange thing was it wasn't seen in the previous pictures. There it is. There. That looks mechanical right there. Now balloons wouldn't have this there. That's why I'm sort of thinking, well, this is a little bit strange. See those shapes there? Right there. Let's go to the next picture. This is where it starts to come out. There. At right angles. And here we've got two white ones. Look at that. That wasn't in the other pictures. That's why it's so interesting. You'll see like a white tether coming off this. And that wasn't there before. There it is there. So it's, it looks mechanical. It looks like it's a mechanical object coming right out of there. It's got a rounded area there. Right angles and that white area around it. This is very important because it's not seen in a few of the pictures. And that white tether right there. Let me see how far it enlarges. This is not normal. There. And now the next one. This one's a good one. Could you see it again? But I can't zoom any further on this one. It looks a bit blurred. There. Uh, I'll try this one. Now I'm sure you'll notice in a few of the pictures it had this white area and a few it didn't. It has this tether coming off and the other pictures it didn't. And there it is again now. And that's it.